this week was filled with a combination of dismal economic news and very hopeful signs on the medical front in the battle against coronavirus. That made the stock market soar and plunge as investors swung between optimism and pessimism. Almost all the states started to reopen their economy to one degree or another. Fed Chairman Jay Powell testified to Congress about the potential long-term damage being done to the economy. Let me catch you up on the events of the week and also talk about how small businesses that have taken on a huge amount of debt can get out of that debt much more easily. I'm Jordan Goodman, America's Money Answers Man, and this is the Money Answers Week in Review. The number of Americans filing claims for unemployment rose by 2.4 million in the last week, bringing the total to a staggering 38.6 million in the last nine weeks. While still horrible, that's a third of the 6 million that filed about a month ago. Factory production fell by 16%, and many factories closed, quite a few of them permanently. JCPenney filed for bankruptcy and they're going to be closing 240 stores. New housing starts fell to the lowest level in five years. An economist at Stanford, Nicholas Bloom, did a study estimating that 42% of the recent layoffs will probably be permanent. Fed Chairman Jay Powell testified that this is a downturn without precedent because the contraction will go on as long as the coronavirus does so it's very unclear how long or deep it's going to be. As a result, Powell said that both Congress and the Federal Reserve have to step up their spending and lending to lend a hand to the economy. However, it's still unclear what's going to happen in Congress because they remain divided over the direction of the next stimulus package. On the positive side, news that the drug company Moderna had positive results from its first coronavirus vaccine gave the stock market an upward jolt. Certain retailers like Walmart, Amazon, and Target had record sales as shoppers really stocked up. Oil prices soared from about $10 a barrel three weeks ago to about $35 a barrel on the hopes that there's going to be more people using oil around the world. So I think this pattern of bad news on the economic front and hopeful news on the medical front is going to continue for the rest of the summer, which is going to cause a lot of volatility in the stock market. Small businesses are taking a real hit as they've been forced to close for months. A lot of these businesses are barely profitable even before the coronavirus hit. A lot of them have also taken on an awful lot of debt. So if this is your situation, you should use the strategy of what's called debt prioritization where you pay the bills of the creditors that have the most leverage over you before those that have the least leverage. And I can try to do this on your own, but a better way to do it is to use a company that's done this for many years called Corporate Turnaround, one of my affiliates. They help you prioritize which debts to pay first and which pets to pay later. They can really help an awful lot of people in that circumstance. You can find out more about them at the link helpwithpayables.com or also in the link in the video description. I want you to have the tools and knowledge to do well with your personal finances in these very tricky economic times. I'm Jordan Goodman of MoneyAnswers.com, and this has been the Money Answers Week in Review for the week of May 18th.